what I wanted to show you then next was some of the progress we've got. Um, this is uh, what they have kind of outlined out. They wanted to find out if that was good for you. Um, it's it, it's just the thumbnail of, okay, this is what we're thinking kind of thing. Is that for lips, teeth, and dimples? Right. Yeah, now that looks good. Yeah, no, I, I can see it. I see, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Well, that's good, well done. Uh, this is the map I have for the farm. Oh, nice, that looks good. Um, I tried to make sure that uh, there's a lot of like trash looking items. They're actually going to be for like target practice where they can um, take the weapon and try to skill up that weapon proficiency. Excellent. Uh, so I tried to make sure we had Zoot's hat and like Dow's little hat that he's got there so that it's kind of recognizable of, oh, they might have just stuck it on there, you know? That's a very good idea. That looks great. Excellent. Um, and then these are the plots in which they are going to be able to use for farming. This is going to be for like the free, yep. um, like for potatoes, radishes, that kind of thing. Because this that is... Was, that was me for one man, because I think it's very... I'm sorry, Chris, I'm just explain to Adam that, that when I did that head banging at treatment, right. I mean, I, I think it's very important for replenishing for food. For, yeah. You know, cause, because that's Chris and what I'm trying to do for the consumers is to, as well as fighting and normal stuff, is to try and make things, things a little more cerebral, you know? Something yeah, it, it's like, immersive. You know, immersive in that, that, like Animal Crossing and different things and caring and nurturing and and growing food and you know what I mean things to trade to negotiate to so it's just uh, anyway that's good so that works yeah and this is for the tree area like there's some things that they're going to be able to grow that are in tree form so that's what these are for and then this is for climbing plants like grapes tomatoes that kind of thing yes excellent so once they have the final item they can trade um they would just need to go to the person that they're going to trade with um, to do that, so. I mean, it, if, if, for example, somebody, if it's a bare piece of land and they're growing corn, say, <laughs> I mean, uh, well, is the corn a corn planter on that? Like how, that again? How long, are, you, are you asking how long it would take for, for a seed to grow in real time yeah. for something? Or, or in our game time? Well, yeah. Um, I think that's something that he is trying to balance out right now. Um, I know that he was, because we're also going to go with the whole, uh, if you don't get it soon enough, it's going to wilt. That looks good, Chris. Well done. That's very nice. There. This is the cooking window right now with some of the examples of what we have whenever they go to the station and they have the ingredients, they'll be able to cook this, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. So yeah. that's what that looks like. Plus here, you can kind of see the UI that we did, the, um, the user interface. It shows their health. Yes. Um, their health, their energy, their thirst, and their um, hunger. This is going to be the, the train yard. Oh, yeah. And I've got, um, like, for size comparison, because it's been, it's been hard, but, like, his car and everything. This is the, um, the completed woods map. Uh, well, one of, one of them, I should say, um, where they'll be able to fish. These bushes are bush nodes that they'll be able to get, like, leaves, uh, like tea leaves, chamomile, that kind of thing. Um, they've got a couple places like back in the back. It's hard to see because, of course, mushrooms grow in dark. But there's um, right here, right there's mushrooms there where they can gather that at. Um, of course, there's little Easter eggs if they know how to look. <laughs> well, that's good, Crystal. That's a good overview. And